What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's Paul, and this high school girls volleyball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Visit our website and click on their ad for your chance to win a free banquet. It's the Division Three CIF Southern Section Semifinals. St. Joseph hosting Sage Hill at St. John Bosco. Road to the ring. Everybody trying to get that bling. It's a good thing this one was at Bosco because your boy doesn't have enough quarters to make the drive all the way out to Sage Hill. The Lightning, the top seed in the division. But the Jesters have a never say die attitude and these girls do not believe in nerves, obviously. First couple of sets were all Sage Hill. They served the ball better than St. Joseph, they passed the ball better, and the Jesters could not stop their outside hitters. It was the Jamie Daly show with Jamie Daly early in the match, and the senior had five kills and two aces in the opening set. Ten kills in the first two sets, and the top seed off and running early as they take it 25-19. But the Jesters got back on track in the second set. Looked like they started to settle in a bit. Martha Padilla had four huge blocks in the set. Sage Hill hitters were still eating from the outside though. Amaya DeLong could do no wrong. She had five kills in the set and 16 kills in the match. And she's only a sophomore, kind of scary. Second set was a tight one, but on set point, DeLong again, she puts it away for a huge 2-0 advantage. And it looked like the Sage Hill faithfuls made the trip for a reason. Paying the toll roads was worth it. But wait a minute though, St. Joseph captain Kate Baldwin had a little something to say about that. She sparked an 8-0 run from the service line and filled up the stat sheet in the third set. Four kills, four digs, and a lone ace. The Jesters found life. Padilla, every time she jumped off that knee brace, I cringe, but she sure doesn't. She had three kills in the set. Baldwin again, playing with so much confidence, like they weren't in a 2-0 hole but they were, and on set point, the nerves may be setting in on the other side a bit. Kira Hurley, rip curls one for the service ace, and the Jesters are back in this thing. Two, one. Now the fourth set was a straight bloodbath, a slugfest. It went back and forth, and Sage Hill tried to steal the set from the Jesters, because you do not want this thing going five with that rowdy crowd. The Jesters had an early advantage, and looked to be in total control of the set, but a couple of big swings and a nice tip from setter Jade Blevins, no relation to Gabe Levin, gave Sage Hill a match point 24-23. This thing was close, but Sue Pepe got just enough of that set to get the kill. St. Joseph erases match point and has a set point of their own. That's into the net, and you gotta be kidding me. This thing is going five eyeball emojis everywhere, and this gym was rocking, and I think I know why. I think it's because they knew what was gonna happen in the fifth. Sue Pepe happened. The sophomore was cool like a Yeti eating frozen spaghetti. She had 24 kills in the match to lead all players, and she added six digs, probably just to show off. And look at this bump set by Alexa Gallegos. Nobody was ready for that. Pepe puts it away as the Jesters jumped out to a 12-6 lead, and we played a 15 in this league. Olivia Maxwell, good to the last drop. The sophomore had two huge blocks in this kill in the fifth. And on match point, the Jesters only needed one. Who else but Pepe to put it away? Holy smokes, is this real life? St. Joseph completes the comeback. They win it in five, and the Jesters and Braves storm the court in celebration. The only thing missing in this is a goal post for these kids to tear down because the Jesters are going to the CIF final. They take care of business against top-seeded Sage Hill, and they'll play second-seeded Glendora on Saturday at Cerritos College. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Papa Lucci's, a great place to eat on 2nd Street. Man, volleyball fans, this has been a great run, a great CIF playoff, and there's still more to come. You know where to be. You know where to check it out. It's gazettesports.com and the Press-Telegram.